goes to court. On the drought watch, New Mexico's fire season is right around the corner, and we're in a better spot this year compared to last. But First Alert meteorologist Byron Morton shows you how fire threats could be closer to your home this year. Albuquerque gets slammed with record snow, plus big monsoon rains last summer. New Mexico is finally getting much needed moisture, and it's all adding up to some great news. A big change in the drought from last year compared to this year. Last year, lots of red across eastern areas of New Mexico. That means extreme drought. This year, no red in even parts of New Mexico, not even in a drought. Even with all this rain and snow, we still have drought. Fire forecaster Brent Walker with the Weather Service. Warns us. We're not out of the woods yet. While large fires in our forest are not looking as likely this year, we have a pretty heavy carryover of, of fine fuels like grasses. More moisture means even more grass and small shrubs, potential fuel for fires. Even more of a concern is where the fuel is found. Of course, that's where the people live. All this dry grass and brush in Albuquerque's Bosque will initially green up in the spring, but later on, anywhere from mid to late May going into June. When it starts to dry out, we could still see some explosive fire behavior. It's just going to be short-lived. Which is why you need to be on alert in those areas of the Bolske and anywhere there's a lot of grass and brush. On the Drought Watch, Byra Morton, KOAT Action 7 News. Another